Hey everyone, Psychriassin here, and in this video I wanted to talk about something I wish I knew when I started, um, about heads and um, stylizing heads and how to stylize a body to match a head and how to make sure you don't end up um, with uh, this situation, which I used to um, have a lot, where let's say I, I drew a head, right, and maybe it would be very stylized. Um, so more like, you know, maybe an anime proportion. And a little nose and a mouth. And then I would get to the body. And because I studied anatomy and did drawings from life and whatnot, um, I already had uh, an idea of how to draw bodies, so I just did that. So, like, okay, um, here's a body, you know, you've got, sorry, it's, a, it's actually hard to draw in this way now, but, um, yeah, so, like, okay, here's a body, and... <laughs> It's like, well, it, it, how old, first of all, how old is this character supposed to be? Um, and I don't know. It's like, oh, he's in his, he's in his 30s, late 20s, I don't know. Uh, he's got a beard. Um, yeah, and a scar. And, and yeah, okay, so let's do the body. And then, okay, so, you know, well... Got to get our body down and arms and whatnot. And it just looked really weird. Like these um, giant uh, bodies on the heads of characters uh, that are very anime-esque. like And what I didn't really realize is that there's um, a relationship between kind of what you have to do with the... Um, body depending on what you've already done with the head so what I mean by that is here we have like um, pretty big eyes right um, so big eyes big eyes um, pretty big cranium and those big eyes small nose and small mouth small nose Small mouth. Okay, what does this uh, proportion make you think of? Big eyes, small nose, small mouth. Well, makes me think of babies because they kind of fit the bill, right? Big eyes, I mean, relatively. Small nose, small mouth. So what kind of body does a baby have? Is it, you know, like big? <laughs> no, it's small. So I get like a small neck and then a torso that's, you know, small compared to the size of their head. And this is still stylized, by the way. I'm not like drawing a realistic baby, but um, just for example. So big, big cranium, big eyes, small nose, small mouth, small neck, small torso, and pretty, you know, short arms and legs. So that's, and, and whatever, <laughs> blush. Um, so that's kind of like baby proportions, right? So um, that's kind of what you have to do. And it's basically, I think the way, um, that works best. I, I, I'm hesitant to make rules because there's always exceptions, but in general, it's like the bigger the eyes are, the smaller you want to make the body in relation to the head. So let's make a body that suits to this guy more um, based on what his head is like. So the neck in this type of style probably can be shorter 
like thinner, I mean, more narrow. Um, maybe something more like this in terms of torso and then the legs. Uh, I guess the legs could be longer. Um, but like a body like that would would work where the torso is much smaller. Um, in realistic proportions, when you learn them, uh, you learn rules like uh, generally a man is two heads wide or three heads wide and then or two and a half heads or something like that. So let's say we go with two and a half. Um, or, uh, so then it's it's a lot wider than this and that's going to create that weird that weird feeling where um, you're like neither here nor there. And I think uh, in the past, this was more of a problem. I don't see this as much nowadays, but when I was learning art, um, it was like the Western artists all had um, that tried to draw anime had this weird hybrid. I don't know if you're old enough to remember, um, might know what I'm talking about, where there were like you'd have like Japanese artists doing anime and it looked like anime and then you'd have Western artists doing anime and it looked weird kind of like, it just doesn't really work. Um, and I think one of the reasons was things like this with the um, things just not matching uh, in terms of size relationships. So that would be more appropriate. Whereas if we had smaller eyes, you can kind of get away with a much uh, bigger body. So let's say we have a similar character, but now I'm going to make him in a much more um, realistic, I guess, uh, style. Trying to see, it's got a pretty short chin. So if I'm drawing like this and, you know, I have this kind of style, I give him his hair back because we got rid of it. Um, now I can make the body a lot bigger and it'll look fine. because the eyes are really small. So what we see is like, these eyes make us think of babies and these eyes make us think of an adult. So with an adult, you can have a bigger body and it works just fine. Whereas um, with, with this type of face proportion, it's, you know, it's harder for it to look right when you're, um, eyes are like in this baby form. And I mean, that's like pretty much the essence of what I'm saying, like what the lesson is. I don't know. Uh, I guess I can do uh, an example of, you know, like, okay, so let's say we have very baby like proportions like this. So this is like a very chibi um, proportion. Maybe like the nose is almost non-existent. Tiny mouth. And let's do a girl this time. Okay, so with this, we can, like the eyes are huge. So we can get away with a very small body. In fact, we need to have like a very small torso um, in relation to the rest, or it's going to look weird. Um, I don't know what the hair is going to be doing. Let's just say something like this. And so neck can be really small and the body can, you know, maybe the body's just that big. The arms are that long and you can go you know big hands small hands it's really up to you in this case let's just go for smaller hands 
and um, proportion like this can work. Because we're just, you know, keeping everything kind of matching where the head is huge and the eyes are big and the body is small. And this also makes the character look younger because uh, they do have like younger proportions. Um, but the uh, way you kind of deal with that is more within the style. So let's say this is a character and a style. Okay. Um, and they look, you know, fairly um, young, but uh, maybe, you know, there's another character in the same world that is actually younger and they look even more small and that will uh, make this character seem older, right? Like we could do this character as uh, a, a younger version of the same character. And so maybe the eyes are even bigger. Let's see how this is going to work. Um, Head placement's a bit off, so I'm just gonna fix that. But yeah, since um, since we made uh, the head even bigger in relation to the body, this character now looks. Like if they're in the same world, this one is um, younger than this one. So it's all about um, relationships and um, relative sizes to things, not so much uh, a hard and fast, like, well, how old is this character? It's like, well, usually you need to um, see what the style is in general to be able to tell that. Um, because if we... Uh, drew, you know, something more realistic, we could, you know, still have um, a child in terms of proportion, but uh, the eyes would be way smaller. Um, and the general proportions would all be different. So um, you'd still have like a small neck for the character um, in relation to other characters in that world, but it would still be a lot bigger than it would be if you were dealing with um, this type of, of style. So this still looks like a kid, but you can see like the necks a lot bigger. If I was to do the body, probably, you know, trying to find where the uh, shoulders are. That that generally helps me, you know, finding where the shoulders are um, and adjusting it until it looks right can help with the rest. Because once you have the shoulders, you know, you know, you can kind of work out well the torsos in in that area. 
Um, so maybe something like that is fine. Um, and then there's this other thing you can do with um, drawing, which is stretching. And so let's say I want a character to have big eyes, but I also don't want them to be short. How do I do that? Well, what you can do is, let's say I want like, this is, this is more like a, a fighting game type proportion where the eyes are, you know, they're fairly big. Um, but I still want this, like, let's say I want the character to be very um, tall or, you know, like, um, I guess, like Sailor Moon and stuff like that have this very tall proportion, but they still have big eyes. So the way you do that is, or the way I've found to do it anyway, is to have um, a long, but very, like, have the in inside parts, like the, uh, not inside parts, the, connections be very narrow so here we i'm just gonna fix the head here we have like a big head and then like a skinny neck and then we'll have like a long but skinny torso we just make everything very skinny and long basically i don't know why this face is bothering me let me redraw it. There. Um, okay, skinny neck. And then, so I, I still want the shoulders to be fairly close to each other. But now that I've made um, the uh neck really skinny and the torso fairly short i can like elongate areas like the torso can be longer and you can push out things like the hips and then you can just end up with like you have to keep things pretty skinny like the arms and stuff but you can end up with like a very um tall proportion and still with big eyes and it won't look you know, absolutely um, too weird. I mean, again, it depends. I grew up on on um, anime, and I really like exaggerated proportions. So for me, this is like fine. Uh, but I can understand if someone was like, "That looks messed up." Because um, yeah, I mean, if you're not used to this type of style or you don't like it, then I suppose it it could look messed up. But you know. Um, it's just to say you can do very tall proportions as well and have them work. So let's see where would the legs feel comfortable being. And I like to do these, um, I've talked about it a bunch of times with the limbs. I do like this, these shapes for the legs and arms. And the reason is it's easier to visualize for me, like this general shape and then figure out roughly how long is it supposed to be. So where do the feet end? Um, let's say about here. And then I have this like shape and then I can draw the leg within that shape and it's gonna roughly look fine. So yeah, you don't have to have very short characters. If you have, uh, if you wanna have big eyes, you just have to know that generally you need to still make the torsos uh, in relation fairly small. So if we looked at the um, rib cage here, and so just the size of the rib cage, is like here, the size of the pelvis is like that, and the size of the head is that. So, you know, that's quite a departure from um, realistic proportions, which are going to be. I don't know. Let's see. 
it's a bit hard for me to draw, you know, extremely realistic after I haven't for a long time. Um, so I'm just going to be uh, a bit slower. I apologize. Uh, but something more like that, I'd say. Maybe. My eyes would be, you know, much smaller, relatively. The nose would be more defined, and the mouth as well. But you can see just how much um, wider the the shoulders and things can be, and. Um, in proportions where the person's more realistic, often the hair occupies a very big area. So um, when you want the character, like your character might feel like they have a very small head, but then once you add the hair, it kind of balances it out and it stops looking so small. Um, and that's kind of how you do it. So if we had like more of this proportion, which is a bit more realistic, and we were to, um, do the same thing as this with the relationship of um, the head and the rib cage and the uh, the shoulders. Well, okay, so rib cage is like this big, roughly. Head is this big, and pelvis is like that. So it's it's a lot different in terms of size like the heads of the two characters you can see are roughly the same proportion or size volume i should say um but the uh rib cage and the pelvis it's it's very different in terms of uh size you know pelvis is going even higher than that but yeah so this again more realistic with smaller eyes and then you can do more realistic proportions. And if you want to do um, beyond uh, real, like bigger bodies than real, you tend to just have to do a tiny eyes and it can work. So, you know, um, you might have seen there's like styles where the bodies are gigantic and the heads are really small. And you can do that, just, just the eyes are going to be very thin and small. Oops. And the mouth can be bigger. But now you can, you know, get a very big proportion, massive arms if you want, and it still will uh, check out. So if you're having trouble um, with this, rather than, you know, give you a specific rule or, you know, do this or make it like this and that's how to do it, um, what I would encourage you to do is try analyzing it yourself and figuring out like what about this works and what isn't working and you know whatever you do with the head you tend to have to do with the body so if your heads are very baby like the body the bodies tend to have to be more baby like or if the heads are very realistic and or if they have like tons of detail you know let's say we did this character but we gave him a lot more um detail and he's got like you know I don't know just everything's way more defined uh, then you'd have to do that as well for the body for it to make sense but it can work 
So pretty much like anything works. It's just a matter of like understanding what's going on and then pushing and pulling to make that uh, the rest of it fit. Like this, this is starting to look weird. So just thinking like, how could I adjust it? Maybe, maybe if I'm making the face taller, then this will start to fit more. Because um, now we have um, this type of like slope and the hair so big that it makes the head uh, seem uh, bigger than it really is. Because it's not that big. It's, it's just this area, right? Um, so a lot of it is pushing and pulling. And you can just look at art you admire, artists you admire, and look for these types of patterns like relationships instead of just looking at the heads and oh how did they draw in their style because um i think that's mostly what i was doing before is that's how i would think of it more in terms of a face so what is a proportion um i would think of it more like what face guidelines are they using um You'll see this a lot, especially with how to draw anime type stuff. There will be a, um, this type of, we'll start with this type of circle and then make a cross. And then on this line, that's where the whatever will be. And on the other line, that's where something else will be. And in the end, you end up with a head and it's like, sure. But then because there's not much with you know, bodies and like things like necks. Where do you put the neck? How big do you do, I do this for the neck? Um, is that gonna even work? Uh, probably not. Um, but I mean, you could still sort of make it work, but you'd have to, you know, not use baby proportions. Like give them a bigger, a bigger chin and then it could work. Um, but yeah, so this is something that people kind of people, I don't know, I, I did not, I did not pay attention to, because I didn't know that, no, this is a thing you're supposed to pay attention to. If you want to do this to the eyes and make them that big, you're going to have to make the body and the neck much smaller, and uh, it can all work out. And um, one of the problems I had was I wanted to, like I studied a lot of anatomy, so I wanted to incorporate anatomy, but I liked a very stylized face style. And so the two were clashing where the faces were very um, stylized and minimalistic. And then the bodies had like tons of anatomy and that just doesn't work. You have to find workarounds um, to, to make that uh, actually viable as a method. Um, but I think it's possible. So anyway, Sorry for going on and on and on about this stuff. I, you know, I feel like I have to cover all the um, edge cases because there's there's always a there's always an exception to everything. So no matter what I say, something's gonna be uh, you'll be able to find like, well, that's wrong. That doesn't apply in this case. It's like, yeah, there's always exceptions. So more than anything, I just want to encourage people to um, learn to observe and figure things out on their own um, because that's what really helps is when you can make sense of this yourself um, rather than, you know, well, it's like Ruth said this or someone else said that. It's like, yeah, well, first of all, ask yourself, does that ring true? Does it seem right? Does it check out? Um, and if it does, that's good. And if not, if you're like, yeah, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, maybe, you know, you got to, find different information because uh, maybe it's just not meant for you or it doesn't it's not going to help you so yep um that's my my spiel uh i hope it helps and thanks for watching